Hello everyone, today we are going to develop a small application where we implement Google Maps Flutter, the developer preview version. The first thing what we do, we go to pub.link.org and type in Google Maps Flutter and then we go to the installing section here and copy this dependency here. Then we go to our pubspec jungle file in our root directory and copy this under dependencies, under this here, inside. And we also copy this important statement on the same page and paste it inside our new widget, which we call Google Maps widget. And here we paste this import statement. So the next thing what we need to do is to get the dependencies and restart our application after it. We also go to this readme file and look at the Android section, what we need to do. So what we need to do here is to get an API key for Google and pass it into our file here. So we copy this and then just search for this file in our project. And then we copy it here inside of our application. Now we need to get a key. Therefore, we go to this address here, which I have opened here. Then we go to the console here and create a new project. So we just give it a name. We wait until it is created, then we go to the API section. I go with Maps JavaScript API and here we enable it. Then we go to the credentials and create credentials API key and copy this API key here. And then we go to our project and copy it into our Android manifest XML. For the mobile operating system iOS, we do the same. So we need to go to this file location here, we search it and then we need to copy this here and replace everything and we need to copy the key here. So I will paste it here. The next thing what we do, we go to our Google Map widget here and transform this here to a stateful widget. And now we need to create a Google Map controller here and here we will create a Google Map on Map created and here we will also pass the on map created inside and we create this method here and what we need to do is to set the state map controller equals to this controller what we pass here we also need to go to our main file and replace it here with a google maps widget and import it so if we hot restart this application we see this google map and our view we can also limit it here to a specific size, what we want to have. So for example, we want to have a different kind of height. So we go here and wrap our Google map in a sized box and set the height, for example, to 300 and hot restart the application. And then we have this box of the Google map with a height of 300, but I will go back to the normal size Another thing we want to do is to create an overlay over our map. So we will create another widget, which we call deliver overlay widget. And here we will pass in different kind of information like a name, a street, a city, a distance, and also a deliver delay. So the deliver delay is later a title and a color. The next thing is we go back to our Google map widget and here we will create a stack around it. So I will wrap it here around with a column and change it to a stack. And then we want to have this deliver overlay above our map. And here we pass in some information. So we have all these information set, which we use later, like the name, street, city, and so on. And now we go back to our deliver overlay widget. And the first thing what we do is to create here a card. And here we also want to have a stack so that we can show multiple widgets overlapped. And here we want to create another widget, which we call address widget. And I will also create it here, address widget. And this address widget has also a name, a street, a city. And in our build method, we create a column so that we can show multiple widgets underneath. And on the top, there is a text where we say deliver to then we have a little bit space between, then we show the name in bold letters 
then we have also again a little bit space between and then we show the street name and also the city so let's go back to our deliver overlay and import it here and we also need to pass our information to the address widget and if we hot restart our application it looks like this so we go back to our address widget and for this address widget we want to do different things first of all we want to stretch it to the width of the whole screen so what we do here we set our cross axis alignment to cross axis alignment stretch and reload it and now it takes the whole width and another thing we want to cut the tier off our widget so that we don't have here this hole of empty space so we will go here with main exercise main exercise min and then it will do the trick and it also looks a little bit bad because we have no padding around so the last thing what we do is we go here and wrap our widget with a padding of 16 and if we hot reload the application it looks much better and now we go back to our deliver overlay widget where we create a row and inside the row we set a text of deliver delay title and we also set here style so we go over our theme and take the subtitle and copy it with the color white and also with the font weight bold so it looks currently like this that we have here delay and minus four min so the next thing what we want to do is to change the position to the right side so we will wrap it here with another widget which is called positioned and here we set right to 8.0 and top to 8.0 and restart it and now we have our delay text here on the right side so the next thing we want to do is to give it a little bit color so we wrap our text widget here with the container and here we give it a color of deliver delay color and if we restart we have this background color here so we need also to add a padding so it looks better we go here with the padding of 12 and 8 and if we hot reload it it looks like this and the next thing what we want to do is we press here Control alt m to build here a new method which we call time deliver status and now we are finished with this beautiful map and also with the overlay hello everyone thank you so much for watching this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about flutter and see you soon bye